Right back, uh, we're looking to give kids a different kind of a treat, mm -hmm. an experience that they're going to remember for a lifetime. You can take them to a place where they can get a taste of the country and a taste of some great ice cream. That's right, it's farm living, everyone, practically in our own backyards. Our Chris Delcamp is taking us there. You may have seen these Calder Dairy labels in local grocery shops, but you may not know that Calder Dairy Farm is located in Carlton, just north of Monroe. So Calder Dairy Farm is a working farm. Tell yes. me about it. Well, we're open to the public seven days a week. Uh, it gives an opportunity for people from the suburbs to come down and maybe reconnect with farming. So in addition to Calder's being a traditional dairy farm, it's completely open to the public. As years have gone by, people have moved away from the farm to live in the suburbs. No one has been had the interest, the time, or wanted to put the incredible hard work 24-7 into running a farm. But like Chuck Gatica says, what's old is new again. I feel like people are kind of going back to this type of attitude, the, the locally produced, locally grown, local farms. Absolutely. And I think, you know, Calder's, for example, was established in 1946. So that's 70 years of local that we've been doing. We were local before it was fashionable to be local, but that has definitely created the interest for people to want to be able to see where their milk is coming from. They can visit, they can see the cows being milked, and they can say, that's where my milk came from. This is my first time, 2%, so. She's gonna be okay. All right. Squeeze it. Yep, squeeze the top, and then squeeze the little bit that's kind of fatter, that feels like it's got milk in it. Yay! Oh. It's my first time milking a cow, so give me a break, all right? I did my best, and you never want to miss an opportunity. People don't have the opportunity to go to a farm, see the cows, see them being milked, and understand that's where their milk is coming from, that's where the cheese is being made from, that's where the chocolate milk comes from, and so on. Between chocolate milk from brown cows, of right? Of course, yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Jokes aside, it really is wonderful to learn about where your food comes from, especially for kids who often come to visit on school trips from the city. And most of them have only ever seen it in a book at school. It's a big outing for them, and it does create a memory for them they never forget. Now pay attention, folks, because here's the kicker. Calder Dairy delivers. We have 22 home delivery routes that go out into four counties. So we're in Washtenaw County, Wayne County, Monroe County, and the southern area of Oakland County. So now people from the Detroit area can mm -hmm. get their, their yeah. fresh farm products delivered. Absolutely, yes. We're talking door to door, and if you need, they can take it a step further from farm to fridge. It's at your doorstep, and some of our drivers actually go, put it in the fridge for you, you get home, your milk, your eggs, or whatever you've got on order is there waiting for you. You don't have to worry about forgetting to pick up the milk, it's already there for you. I mean, does it get any better? It's like an old school milkman coming from people who are genuinely so very proud of what they do. It gives us a chance to share who we are, but also to share the agricultural experience with people who just don't have that connection anymore. Mmm. I mean, mmm. <laughs> uh, Nikki Noble is the farm manager at Calder Dairy and Farm. Perfect for Halloween, right? Yes. Uh, we're here to just uh, talk about something different. You said put down the candy as I walked over, so I was busted. Okay, so yes. tell us what you brought with you this morning. Well, we brought a selection of our ice creams. For Tati, we've got the White House Cherry. Okay. And we've got our Holstein Paradise, which is basically a coconut ice cream with almonds and chocolate oh in it. Goodness. Yeah. And then we've got horchata, which is uh, like a Latin American flavor, which is mm -hmm. cinnamon and um, vanilla, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Then our pumpkin ice cream, which is one of our holiday flavors. So is this, this all of this ice cream is made from your cows? All made with milk from our own milk cows. Milk from your cows, I should Beautiful. say. Not yes. from the cows. Okay, yes. this is awesome. Yes. So how do you come up with these different flavors? Like, I would have never thought of horchata ice cream. Ooh. We're always looking at new flavors, different things that we can do that might okay. appeal to, oh, you know, our it, public. Oh, it's got the soft sure. factor, so too. We do some taste testing amongst mm -hmm. the uh, staff, and we come up with what we think are good flavors. Holstein Paradise, right. anyone? That's like a almond sure, I'll, joy I'll bar. Is it? And you brought some. Uh, you brought some other things we for us to taste and drink, right? We brought to try. That's our famous New England style eggnog. Oh my gosh! I love so it. you'll have to try some of that. That is it. And the Calder Dairy chocolate milk, and that's yes. the real. That's the. That's yeah, the real, real deal. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, before I even get there, hang mm. on just one second. Do Chuck I have like to later do for that? The ice cream. <laughs> do I have to? 
So when people come to Calder Dairy, yeah. what kind oh, of experience are they going to have? What are they going to see? My Basically, God, they're going to see all the farm animals. Ooh, We've got everything. We've got goats please. and sheep and donkeys and so on. But I think John Calder's prime reason for having Thank the you. farm open to the public is to try and bridge that gap that's widening mm -hmm. between the farm and mm -hmm. the suburbs and mm -hmm. so on. I think in past years, you know, everybody had a relative that was a farmer. Right. That doesn't happen anymore. Right, and experience. Oh, man. Look at the cow. The cow yeah. makes the milk, and yeah. this is the product that you get to connect Absolutely. with your food in a way that we don't anymore, right? Absolutely. And you can actually come at 4 o'clock mm. and watch the cows being milked. So if we have a nice viewing room with education and so on. Every day at 4? Every day at 4 o'clock for milk. But our, day, our hours are actually 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. during the winter. And how do we contact you? How do we get a hold of you? You can go to calledadairy.com, or you can go to our Facebook, or you can call us at the farm at 734-654-2622. Beautiful we'll stuff. Good to see you, Nikki. Nice Thank you for all the samples. Oh, Thank my you. gosh. Mm. That yeah. chocolate milk is so good. It's like what happens when you pour milk and then you let the kid loose with the Hershey's syrup <laughs> and you overdo it. Overdo it's it. that rich. <laughs>